This is a preview of my GIMPED Premium video tutorial. To watch the full video, click on the link below and sign up for GIMPED Premium. Okay, so if you've ever actually used a camera, you'll probably know that there's this thing called depth of field. So whenever you take a picture of something with a relatively big aperture or a small aperture number, um, the background tends to get pretty blurry whenever you focus on an object relatively close to you. So in this case, we're going to try to emulate that. So our background shouldn't be sharp like this. It kind of takes away from the realism. So to fix that, we're just going to click on our background layer and we're going to click filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to kind of move this over to the edge a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. There we go. And then just kind of blur it just until, I don't know, maybe 22. See how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. So now our background's out of focus and it really kind of helps draw your eye to our, the model here. Next up, we need to start actually adding color to our model's image. But before we do that, I want we want to add the, the background has this blue hue to it and we want to make sure that our, our model also has that matching hue so it looks real. And something else I want to note is that I picked this background because the light source was coming from the left side over to the right side so it would match my model's lighting and that's a very important little tip to keep in mind whenever you're doing things like this is you need to make sure that wherever your light is coming from that it matches the direction of whatever foreground object you're trying to create because you know if we would flip this around and have it the other way it just wouldn't look real no matter what you do so something to keep in mind so in order to create this blue hue um, on our model, we're going to actually right click on our uh, layer group and we're going to click duplicate, or I'm um, sorry, our new layer with the model and click duplicate layer. And uh, the only reason why we duplicated that is because we want to keep this layer mask. So with our actual layer selected, hit select all, click on your bucket fill tool, and then fill that entire area with a blue color. And then set that layer mode to color. And then, um, actually, that doesn't look very good. So let's let's actually click on our background layer, click on the color picker, and just pick an actual color, a blue color in the background, and then use that on our layer. That looks a little better. Maybe maybe hue would look better. No, it's definitely gonna be color. Okay. So keep on tweaking with that until you find something you like. Try clicking colors, hue saturation, and then you can just kind of adjust the hue until you get something you like. Maybe turn the saturation down a little bit. 